This is your guy, S.D. Booker, with a toast to the men. Before you listen to this video, hit the subscribe button. Definitely hit the like button. Hit that like button. Let's go. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. Welcome to a Toast to the Men with your guy, S.D. Booker. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for the support. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Let's go. Protecting your peace. I hear that phrase often. I see memes. I see uh, images. I see posts stating protect your peace or protect your peace at all costs. Now, when we say that, or when people say that, I don't know if they actually know what that takes to protect your peace. Uh, first, you must win your peace. In order to win your peace, that means you obviously have to be in a battle or a war. And that's exactly what it is. It's a war. Peace comes after war, always. Uh, between countries, between people, but mainly what I'm talking about is within yourself. There's a war within yourself. And that's how you get peace. Your higher self is warring with your lower self, with your flesh. Your godly self is warring with your flesh. And depending on who comes out on top, that's going to determine if you're in hell or if you're in peace, heaven. Now, I'm not talking about the hell or the heaven where uh, the afterlife. I'm talking about heaven and hell on earth. And so um, that's the main thing we have to understand, that we have to win the war inside in order to get our peace. Now, it's been said, scholars have said and theologians have said, the story of Cain and Abel is actually a story of the two beings or the two entities that take place within ourselves. That's a war between good and bad, uh, good and evil, or uh, the God and Satan, if you want to, so if you want to call it that, within ourselves, a higher self and lower self war. And I believe that. I believe the Bible is a history lesson. It's a it's a, a book uh, that shows us the path to uh, righteousness and peace and freedom within, and uh, shows us how to roam this earth and how to have heaven on earth. And so uh, I believe that. I can definitely believe that that story is actually a tale of two beings or two spirits inside of us warring. And that's what you first have to understand, man. It's a war inside of you. And you got to win that war before you get peace. That's when, Once you get that peace now, you have to protect it. Meaning, you have to stay on guard. So, we'll take countries. When countries go to war, and if they win the war, uh, or if they lose the war, they are on guard regardless because they don't want to be attacked again. They don't want to be caught off guard again. We, they put in... Uh, put in different uh, maneuvers and, and strategies so they're not attacked or caught off guard again. For instance, when the U.S., uh, well, 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 U.S. soil, U.S. territory, Pearl Harbor, was attacked, you know, the U.S. was caught off guard. But I guarantee after that attack, they put things in place so they wouldn't be caught off guard again. So even if you win the war, even if your higher self wins the war, you gotta stay on guard, stay on point. And you gotta be ready. And uh, don't get comfortable because as soon as you think you overcame something, whatever that thing is, whatever that thing is that you've been warned with, as soon as you think you've overcome it and you get relaxed and, and get off your guard, maybe start hanging out the wrong places, <clears throat> having the wrong thoughts, connecting with the wrong people, uh, you can get caught off guard, man. And there you go, back warned and you might lose the war this time. Right, so that's the first thing, man. Understand that's the war going on inside of you, and you got to protect that that peace at all cost. Secondly, watch who you hang out with. 
Think back when you were going through your toughest moments, going through your hell moments, your depressed moments. Think about who you connected with. Think about who you were connected with. Maybe the people who brought you into that space, that depressed space. I guarantee you, those people were warring inside also, were losing the war with inside. And your energies were drawn to that person. It happens a lot in relationships. We wonder why we connect with certain people, why we get with certain women. That's because we haven't conquered certain things inside of us. And that person may be losing the same war with side, side of them or some kind of war. And our energies are drawn to each other. So, you know, you got to be aware of that. And uh, you want to surround yourself with people who either are, are not worn, have conquered those demons, or they're winning the war. You know, you want to connect with people like that. But I noticed that in my own life when I, go, I was going through a tough spot. I started, like, drawing or connecting to people who were down themselves spiritually and emotionally. And, uh, you know, as soon as I came up out of that rut, I was like, I, I don't want to connect with these people, man. I don't want to be around these people like that. Uh, but I know for a fact we were drawn together because, hey, what they say, misery loves company. And uh, I tell him that's real. That energy is real that will draw you like a magnet to that same energy you're giving off. Hey, just the opposite. That positive energy will deflect negative people away and draw positive people your way. So as soon as I came out of that rut and I started doing positive things, I had positive energy, positive people started coming my way. Now, early I was looking, you know, when I was thinking about this topic, I was like, man, what are the most peaceful countries in the world? And I, I did some research, and most of the countries that are the most peaceful or listed as the most peace, peaceful are Nordic countries like uh, North Atlantic, right, or the you know the Viking era uh, areas where the Vikings roamed, Switzerland, you know Sweden, New Zealand, Australia, those types of countries. And I did some history, you know, some deep diving history work. I was like, wow, these countries, they were in some heavy wars centuries ago. And mainly because people were trying to uh, volley for position and own land and stake their claim to land so they could settle, raise families, uh, sell, uh, you know, settlements, um, you know, create countries. But they've been peaceful for centuries, though, since then. I was like, man, why are these countries so peaceful? There's some more research. These countries that are so peaceful, they don't have any natural resources that anyone wants at all. You know, a lot of wars between countries are because someone has natural resources that another country or several countries want. Uh, so that's the positive thing. There's a war going on inside of you, and there's a war going outside of you with the people because there's a resource in you that they're fighting over. Your flesh and your higher self, the God in you, is fighting over that resource. That purpose, that gift, that talent is fighting over it. So you're being distracted by war. And if you give up, if you lose the war, hey, did this all for nothing. But, you know, so so always remember that when you're worn, it's bigger than you. You know, this is a like like the word says, this isn't about you know, flesh. This is about principalities. This is a spiritual war, you know, and the main war is within yourself, you know, so that's going to be a constant war. Maybe not every day, maybe not every month, but it's definitely going to have to stay on guard.
So yeah, that's that's how you protect your peace. But first, understand that there's a war. You got to go get your peace. You got to fight for your peace. Hey, that may be cutting off certain things within yourself, cutting off certain people in order to win your peace, gain your peace, and then keep it protected. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button as usual. For me to you, love. Peace. Bartender, yeah, let me get a, get a double shot of that uh, Bossier. No rocks, no chasing, baby.